Hey everyone, it's Kayla, and today is Top 5 Wednesday. Top 5 Wednesday was created by the lovely Lainey over at Ginger Reads Lainey. I will leave a link to her channel below, as well as the Goodreads group. Go check it out. Today's topic was actually Top 5 Favorite Self-Published Books, but I haven't really been doing Top 5 Wednesday religiously the last couple months, so I thought that I would go back to December and pick a week that I missed um, in my absence. <laughs> so today I will be doing a top five series that I need to start right now. I have quite the collection of genres in this top five, so let's just get started. Coming in at number five on my list, we have Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. It is actually a travesty that I haven't read this series yet. I've heard so many great things, so many people love it, so many of my friends love it, and they actually all went together and got me the entire series for my birthday one year because, hey, they want me to read it, and that birthday wasn't even last year. That was the year before that embarrassing. So I definitely, definitely want to get to this series this year, especially because she's coming out with that book, The Glittering Court, and it looks fantastic, and it looks right up my alley, and I just want to read her original series that she's known for before diving into that one. So definitely number five, Vampire Academy. Coming in at number four on my list, we have a middle grade series. We have the Wings of Fire series by C2 Sutherland, and I'm really sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Basically, this book is about dragons. Like, the characters in this story are dragons, and I am so excited to get to this, and my friend Connor at Connor O'Brien, who's awesome, by the way, he loves middle grade, and this is one of his favorite middle grade series, so that fact says a lot, guys, so I'm really excited to get to this. I love dragons, as you all may know, and basically, this is about dragon tribes at war with one another, and I don't want to know too much more than that going into it, so I'm really excited to get to this. Coming in at number three on my list, we have the Ryuria. Revelation series. I think I said that right. This is part one, which is book one and two all together, and it's called Theft of Swords. I'm sure you've seen it around because a lot of people talk about it. I picked this book up halfway through last year and haven't read it yet. What else is new? I think this story follows a mercenary and an assassin, and they get hired to steal a sword from the palace and then end up get framing for the murder of the king. I'm really, really in the mood for fantasy right now, so I will definitely be looking to start this soon. Coming in at number two on my list, we have Runaways, The Complete Collection, Volume 1. Actually, I just want to start this series in general. It's a Marvel comic, and I'm just getting into Marvel comics. This is actually written by Brian K. Vaughn, who is my favorite comic book author, I'm pretty sure. I'm 100% convinced that he's my favorite author at this point. He wrote Why the Last Man, which I'm enjoying so much, and he also wrote Saga, if you didn't know, and yeah, I just can't wait to get to this. This comic series follows a group of teenagers who find out that their parents are part of the Pride, which is a criminal activity-based group, and it sounds awesome, and the illustrations are fantastic. The art looks really pretty, and I'm really anxious to get to this because it looks simple and clean-cut paneling, and I'm all about that. And the number one series that I need to start yesterday <laughs> is, of course, The Mistborn Trilogy by Brandon Sanderson. I, 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 what else can I really say except everyone? everyone raves about this and I've owned it since January 2014 guys that's two years it's been on my shelf two years and I haven't read it yet and I don't know I don't know what I'm doing with my life because everyone raves about this and it's not even like I care about the hype because I know I'm going to love it I know I'm going to love it it's fantasy it has everything I want in a fantasy according to everyone's reviews on how they describe it and Oh, I just need to read it. I'm not going to begin to try to explain the magic system in here or what it's about, but I believe this takes place in a fantasy world where the villain has won and conquered the land. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's the case here. And I hear Brandon Sanderson builds amazing worlds. I just can't believe I haven't read it yet. So yeah, definitely number one for a reason. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Comment down below and let me know what series you would like to start soon, and I will see you all soon with another video. Bye! Coming in at number three on my list, we have the Ryuria, 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 Ryuria. Coming in at number four, <laughs> coming in at number five on my list, we have Vampire Cat. Blah 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 blah. Do I always use my hands this much in videos? Huh. Just a wizard girl. Living in a muggle world, took the Hogwarts train going anywhere.